Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back everybody to another video. In today's video, I have a surprise. It's a big surprise. So hold on everybody. Let me get my surprise, put it on the table, and I will be right back. Voila! Azure Beauty has reached out to me again, everybody and ask me if I would be so kind as to do a review on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful package. So let me get it open. It's a 20 piece dip powder kit, guys. So let me get it open and put everything on the table and I will be right back. So first we have all of the beautiful, beautiful things that you need to create a beautiful set. But they also put this nifty thing in here. Guys, look at this. Oh my goodness. I've never seen this in anybody's kit collection or anything, anywhere. This is my first time seeing anything like this and I absolutely love it. So here it's showing you the color, right? And then it shows you what it would look like if you did one dip, two dips, or three dips. Well, they're calling it layers. And it ultimately is layers. So regard is if you did, excuse me, one layer, two layers, or three layers. These are the three different effects you will get. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. I love it. So that is a very big plus. Thank you so much, Azure. And here we have the customer service care card. Well, pamphlet. Um, we have our warnings over here. And the things you need to pay attention to. Everything you need, guys, to get your application done correctly. Here are the steps, one through nine. And then we have the final look. You guys, this is an amazing, amazing, amazing kit. Let me tell you that when I opened it, I was so surprised and so amazed when she reached out to me. And then she showed me what I will be getting. I was too, too happy. So to, uh, to valuable customers, this is their contact uh, information. Beautiful. This card is absolutely beautiful along with everything that I'm about to show you guys. So let me get it and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is everything that comes in the packet. I have tested out the file already. Don't judge me. So it's a, I believe it's a 100, 180 grit. Yeah, I tried it. <laughs> you guys, this is my second time doing this video. Do not judge me. As you will see with my brush, I tried to do an ombre. I'm still gonna try another one. So you get the cuticle pusher and a scraper. And you get this beautiful ombre brush that I do not know what I'm doing, but I am going to try again. And we have our one, two, three, and four dip system well it's the one is base two is the activator three is the top coat and four is the brush saver uh, it cleans the brush when you um, or if you have any complications with the brush um, hardening yes you have your brush cleaner for that cleanup so here are all of the 20 colors I am going to open them off camera. Some of them I will open on camera and some off camera, but you will see a swatch of each and every one of them at the end of the video. So do not fret, you will get a chance to see each and every beautiful color at the end. Alrighty, alright y'all, enjoy. 
I will be back. All right, all right, I am back everybody. We are nearing the end of the swatches, about to go into the application of everything. So what I decided to do was just the few swatches that you saw. I didn't want to um, have you guys sit through 20 swatches, so I did the 20 swatches off screen, and I figured I would do, uh, I think I did six on screen. Or on camera to let you all see how wonderful they swatch and here I am going to go in with my application I filed down all of well most of the product off from the last um, application that I did I did a an acrylic set and I didn't want to go down too far I didn't want the nails to be too thin so I took as much acrylic off as I could and there you could see I did not really know which one I wanted to do I love both of those glitters so I had a hard time choosing deciding which one I wanted <laughs> to use but ultimately I went with the gold I love the gold and the blue um, next to each other is just beautiful so I'm glad I went with the gold and the blue um, so what I did was pinky middle and thumb I did gold and the ring and the pointer finger I did in the blue I absolutely love this blue guys and I don't know what I did but it has um, it's got like a look I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera but it's got like a little uh, I don't even know a little discoloration I wouldn't even call it like a marble because if you can see that blue on the table on the swatch it is it, it did not turn out like that so I know it's something that I did I will have to figure it out because I love these products this product and I will be using um, each and every one of these colors I am going I think I'm going to see how they work with monomer and I know you guys right now are like is probably thinking what are you doing you are wasting all of that acrylic but I'm not guys I did this on purpose I um here that I did not do on purpose but combi combining both of the colors together I did do on purpose because um of course you can go and dip your nails into the jar if your nails are short enough and I don't think mine are short enough in this video but um, 
you can also do the pour over method that I am doing now and you can pour it over the individual pots if you don't want to um, combine or if you feel like it's wasting your product. I don't feel like it's wasting it because I'm going to use this product again. The um, blue and gold mixed very well together and I absolutely love it. I did not show you um, a swatch of it. Um, I didn't even think about swatching it. I just know that um, when I mixed it together, you'll see that in a little while. It is absolutely beautiful. So here I am um, noticing that I missed a little bit on the tip. So I put it, uh, put a, a just a touch of gel on the tip and dipped it back into the blue. And now I will do all of the, all five fingers with the strip down the middle. And then I will go in and put a layer of base coat over the entire nail, um, each color, I will uh, pour the, cor the correct color on the correct nail, if that makes sense. So for the gold, I will pour gold. For the blue, I will pour blue. Sorry if I <laughs> made that a little more complicated than it needed to be, but in the end, I'm sure you guys understand what I'm saying. So here we are, and I guess I'll let you guys continue to watch because it's kind of repetitive I am uh, here I'm showing you how you can if you don't want to waste or not combine your product how you can do it over the pot but I will let you guys continue to watch and I will be back in a little while but before I go I would like to say thank you so very, very much, Azure, for trusting me to showcase your product on my channel. I am in love with this dip. I have no complaints. I will recommend this 100%. You guys, if you have not tried Azure Beauty, you need to get over there and check them out. You will not be disappointed. I will say there is a slight odor to the base coat, it is, um, it has kind of, to me, it reminds me of a glue, of like a um, super glue or a crazy glue, the smell. Um, but it's not real, it's not real bad, but it's, it is like you can smell it. So I recommend that you wear a mask when doing any acrylic work, any um, gel work, any work that requires you to use fumes or stuff that has fumes or that is going to accumulate dust or any of that so just protect yourself at all times I'm sure you hear other people telling you wear your mask it is necessary to wear your mask so yep just do that y'all and okay I said I was coming back and um, I will I'll let you guys continue to watch and I will be back.
all right guys here we are at the filing part of the video I figured I would only leave one nail in just to get you, just to let you see how a little bit of my filing um, methods are I am NOT the best I know I do not follow all of the rules but as you all know this is me doing my thing and I hope you learned something from my videos. I hope you guys have appreciated this video so, thus far. I love these colors together. I cannot wait to use more of the colors. You guys, I told you I used... <laughs> I used a few colors earlier. I used the gold, the yellow, the orange, red, and the nudish pinkish color. And that's when I tried the file out and I realized that my fingers cramp up and they get stiff and they hurt so bad when I use the small file. So I had to use the bigger file. I am so sorry, but my fingers could not take it. <laughs> but I must say, if your fingers do not lock up and they do not cramp and they don't hurt that small file, it gets the job done. Totally will get the job done. It's shaped, <clears throat> excuse me, it's shaped the other nails, got the bulk down and everything. So trust and believe you can use it. But like I said, my fingers don't like it. So I had to pull out I had to pull out the big guns. So here I am filing and filing and filing away. Make sure you are wearing your mask, everybody. As you can see, the nails are not <clears throat> the thumb especially is not um to my liking. You guys know I love me an apex. So I with that being said, I would recommend at least three to four, maybe even five layers of this dip acrylic just to get you a perfect um, apex or, well, you all know nothing is perfect, but just to get your apex the way you want it because you can fix everything with filing. Remember that. So... Don't think that um, <clears throat> me saying five layers or four layers is just like, oh my gosh, unheard of. Because you see with me doing the three layers, my thumb didn't get as, um, it didn't, I didn't, I wasn't able to build it up as much as I would like. So just make sure um, you are doing maybe even going in <clears throat> and from the bottom of the apex like I said before and bring that product all the way down to the tip uh, I, I think that might build it up a little more uh, from the apex down so it would give you uh, more of a build all the way through if that makes sense I hope that makes sense um, so yeah, that's probably what I would do next time. So let me try to clear this up. So what I do is I go in, uh, from the first one, I put a one strip down the middle of the nail of base coat. And then I go in with the dip acrylic and I do that on all five nails. And then I go in with two or three layers of gel and dip acrylic and so what I'm saying is the probably on the second layer of me doing the base I would take it from the bottom of the apex and pull it down to the tip of the nail and then dip it and then on the next layer I would take it from the cuticle area all the way down and see if that could help build up the product a little more because my pointer middle and my pointer middle and ring finger is more built up than any of them 
the pinky is okay. It's not, it's, it's flat. The pinky is flat. The ring finger is, could be a little more built up. The middle finger is, I like it. I'm, I'm digging the apex and the build and all of that. The pointer finger, same. And the thumb, <clears throat> like I said, I need a little more build up and I think I would love it. But all in all, I am in love with this cut with these colors and I am impressed with my application guys because let's face it I am not a dip girl yes I use acrylic but I use acrylic with monomer and the acrylic that I use is on a uh, uh, I don't know if you would call it a thicker consistency <laughs> because uh, uh, dip acrylic is very very fine so yeah I am not you know usually using dip but guys I think I'm going to be using dip more often because this is my thing I'm liking it I'm liking it so <laughs> Stay tuned for some more dip videos. Hopefully, we'll get some Azure. Okay, lunch break. Stop playing with them, Raya. My daughter fixed me lunch, y'all, because when I tell y'all I was not stopping, I was not stopping. So this was before work, and she was like, Mom, you need to eat. So she hooked a girl up. Thanks, boo. All right, y'all, we are at the end of the video. I just want to say, Azure Beauty, you have made my day. You have made my month. I appreciate you. I cannot wait to do a Halloween set with this kit. When I tell you there is winter, spring, summer, and fall in this collection, they say it's fall, but I say it's all. Thank you. Azure Beauty for such an amazing kit. I have enjoyed each and every moment of this kit. Do you hear me when I say I am in love with every color? I thank you. I thank you. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait to collab again. All right, everybody. Until next time. Love you. Bye. Let me know in the comment section which color is your favorite or which colors are your favorite. And I also want to say number 116 fell all over the floor. Oh, so if you're looking at it like, dang, what happened to that one? That one looks a little empty. It absolutely is, y'all. I almost cried, but I got myself together and got this set out. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you, Azure, so very much.